channel again guys and I hope you enjoy my last video and today we are going to the city so I'm just gonna use my husband's car today because he is actually sleeping and um, we just finished work so he's gonna have a rest and so his car is parked outside the house so I just um, I'm too lazy to take my car out of the garage <laughs> with so I'm here now in the train station and just walking down from the concourse and so I've got my Opal ticket that you always need when you want to catch the public transport in Sydney. So we are going to tap in again here at the station, tap in just like that. Yes, I got $11.47. Next stop is actually St. James and it cost me $4.60 from where I come from and all the way to St. James and in St. James we are going to see the Sydney Hyde Park. So we get off uh, St. James station so as you can see we are in Elizabeth Street and so I just want to show you where what it looks like. That is Westfield, David Jones. The other side is just Elizabeth Street. So we are now in Hyde Park and the Hyde Park is actually the oldest park in Sydney. It consists of 16.2 hectares and it was first used for a horse racing would you believe? see I'm in Hyde Park and just uh, showing you the center point that is very popular for lunch and dinner. Behind me is St. Mary's Cathedral who is actually in the middle of Sydney Business District. Um, it's just besides the Hyde Park. Cathedral and enjoying the jacaranda tree behind me. It's so popular right now. All the tourists are getting into it. So I'm here in St. Mary's Cathedral as you're aware and I met a new fellow. Would you believe? Say hello. Hi. What's your name? Janine. Janine. And where are you from Janine? I'm from Zamboanga City. Zamboanga City. Yes. There you go. So my god I have some company today because my <laughs> hubby couldn't bring me anywhere today. Oh let not say that. <laughs> okay, I'll see you again. We were gonna go to uh, Anzac um, Monument, so I will show you in a few seconds. Okay. visiting the Anzac Monument and uh, now we are trying to go to another free features of Sydney which is the gallery oh my god so so far what how's your trip in Sydney it's amazing uh, there are lots of things to see for free and it's just in close proximity to each other there you go so i told you there is a lot of places to see in sydney for free you don't have to spend a cent you just need to bring your bound in tagalog or in english bring your own food yeah or a drink Here inside the 
free of entrance you can uh, explore as long as you like and they will not cost you anything except for the one upstairs there's some um, exhibits upstairs that you can see but we are not going to do that because today our topic is how to see Sydney on a budget keep this up for the tourists it's amazing it's so nice to see when there's some Filipino art it's actually displayed in Sydney isn't that amazing place this is one of the iconic places as well to be um, it's free to come in here if you come from Central Station or Town Hall you can just get off Martin Place and you can go here When you are at Martin Place, you have to look for this sign. See that sign behind me? Angel's Place. That is a shortcut to go to uh, where all the bird cage are. While you're here in Angel's Place, you can also look on the Ash Road, which is just behind me. And this is a lot of restaurants behind there and you can just have some dinner or lunch it's a great place to eat so I'm here at the moment at the Queen Victoria building and it's free to go inside it's a, like a shopping mall now you can have some coffee high tea uh, shopping For the day is I have my headband again from Chatswood Bargains. I have this lovely gorgeous blouse come from Kmart and I am wearing these jeans here you are come from H&M and the shoes from Sketches. Lovely. Mm -hmm. 